Hi, this video is from interview.com. Interview.com is a job portal. In this video, I'm going to talk about Spring Framework transactional annotation. So, if you see here, I'm going to talk about the transactional annotation. What exactly it is used for in the Spring Framework? Say uh, when you mark a service service method as a as a transactional you can also mark uh, a class as a transactional uh, if you mark a class as a transactional what will happen is the entire public methods all the public methods within the class will uh, the transaction will be applied and it will be taken care by the spring framework if you uh, if you are placing at the uh, public method only for that method it will be applicable so spring framework completely take the uh, role of uh, handling the transaction for a particular uh, DB session first spring retrieves the transaction attributes in the sense here I, I will have a lot of attributes uh, propagation required isolation read only so it reads uh, retrieves the transaction attributes then it gets the transaction manager from the spring context um, and the transaction attributes like propagation isolation read only timeout a transaction is created by the underlying entity manager so these are the things that is done by spring framework behind the scene so you have uh, simply marked a method as transactional so spring does a lot of things behind the scene the target method is invoked after returning from the method invocation the transaction is committed i'll show you a picture so that you can understand say you have marked a method as transactional so the mo the, the moment you me uh, method you marked as a transactional what will happen is spring creates a wrapper method on top of it and it uh, it creates the transaction then it begins the transaction even before the target method is called then once this target method is com uh, completed the transaction is committed I'll show you in the code say for example so spring writes a wrapper method on top of this on around this class around this method sorry okay so around this method it writes a wrapper method so in the wrapper method it will begin the transaction it will call the target method then once the target method is done this um, the transaction will be committed by the spring so this is what the transaction annotation does see you can you see here so I'm going to show you the AOP proxy while debugging I'll, I'm going to debug this code now I'll show you the AOP proxy okay uh, they when using transactional annotation by itself without any parameters the the propagation mode is required read only flag is set to false and the isolation level is read committed data and about uh, the the transaction will not roll back on checked exception so these are the default values when you don't mention any parameter here okay here so let me debug this code so that let's see uh, how exactly it works so here it's going to l it's going to load the application context XML file and uh, it will create all the beans and we are going to get this hotel service bean from the context I'll show you this service class will be created in a different way so it will be a pro proxy object it will not be the real object so it's running now so uh, I just want to explain this see uh, see here I have commented this code so if you create um, an object like this and call this persist total method this method it will not be the transaction will not be ap applicable it is not applied because this is your own object that you have created so transaction will not work at all so please remember it should be always a auto wired a bean that is you got from the spring framework otherwise it will not work okay so now I'm going to say so if you see here a proxy a proxy will be created okay this is not your real object this is a proxy object can you see here this is not the real class spring has created a wrapper class on top of your target object so this is what it has done so target class is yours and EOP class created by the spring itself 
so now if you call it will be persisted and transaction will be applied so if you query that uh, you can see an entry in the database so this is how the transactional works in spring framework it's a very big topic i have tried to uh, present in a short video hope this video is useful and informative thank you and all the best if you like this video please click the like button thank you